Namaste guys, in this video I am going to teach you how to make 1000 number of holes or more as per your requirement in Blender by just using shader editor. So let's see how to make it. Okay, as you can see here is a cylinder and you can see number of faces and words. Here is it, hey how it looks like in original. Remember I have used EV shader, EV as a render engine and you can see these results. Okay, and you can see also in shadow that there are holes in here. So let's see how to make it. So click on file, click on new, general. Save. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cylinder. Press scale and S. After that, right click on it, click on shade smooth. Click here and click on normal, click on auto smooth. Select this, press ctrl plus A, click on scale. After that, I am going to add my shader. So, click here, click on shader editor, select this cylinder, click on new. Move aside, let's zoom a bit, click on add, enter texture coordinate, click add, mapping. After that, click add Vonoi texture. and click add enter color ramp okay so first thing we have to do is uv to vector vector to vector and distance to color ramp and move this color to base color and this color and alpha okay click here select this and go to shader here move it little downwards increase metallic now let's try to understand what the hell is going on in shader editor and what we need to do to make it more better so what i have done is i have selected uv if you know what is uv uh, so basically uv is just a uv projection of the surface okay so what i have done uh, whatever i have shaders they are apply, all applying on UV okay so this is what is going on and I apply a mapping uh, to distribute it and Vonoi texture to make my hole or the shape uh, that is going to act as a hole here and color ramp so color ramp basically control how much uh, you can say the edges of my hole if I move this in time closer towards you can see the black ones and dark ones here you will see nothing here for example if i go here and click on cycles click on gpu compute and move here you can see my holes here let's move them closer you can see the holes here but i don't i don't want to see in cycles because cycles is time consuming i want to see how to do it in ev so go here in your shader uh, click on alpha hash click on alpha hash here and here you will see that it is not a sharp edge hole and I want a sharp edge hole so how can I make it simply just make sure that these black and white are coincide here you can see they are sharp edge now I question arise how to make some better holes so click here click on smooth up one increase the scale decrease randomness decrease smoothness so here is the opposite so so here you can see less I'm just making some fun so don't worry about it so what you can see if I move this white white one to forward you can see these holes and if I move it backward you can see the holes in opposite directions so make them just closer but don't fully coincide here you can see um, a number of holes now if i in increase the scale you can see my number of holes here 
remember it's a real time and it is very easy to make it and you can play around for example instead of smooth you can uh, switch to distance edge here you can see only the square is showing on not the whole so you can play around and play around with color app and you can see it's opposite so you can make your square shape uh, and you know the best part is you can also use your image texture to make a custom whole shape here you can only see the square and circle but you can make any other shape as well again it's up to you how you approach the problems okay if i move it you can see it is a circular hole and if i move them closer i can make sharp edges there are other parameters as well for example f1 f2 okay f2 is doesn't do anything so smooth f1 so in that way you can make a uh, thousand number of folds or more as per your requirement to increase or decrease the number of folds just increase the scale and you get higher number of folds and here you will see that i have selected the press, uh, while doing shading whole cylinder is selected what you can do is simply select a particular face and apply this shader where you want to create holes so to get a better results remember this method saves you a lot of words and faces okay if i make holes with boolean operation all these things and apply it you know that how much words it will going to take and it is going to consume a lot of ram in your pc uh, not only this saves my pc rams and burden so and also vertices so it is a very effective way to do it so i highly recommend that you use this method okay i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries you can ask in comments and thanks for watching and have a great day